Hey everyone, Jim T. Graham with rcgroups.com and today we're back in the shop with something pretty cool. So if you've watched any of my recent videos, you know that I love my head play goggles. There is one thing about them that I don't love and it's the lens that they include with this. You know, it's this pretty awesome unit at an affordable price with a huge screen, but the lens is made out of plastic and it's just not up to snuff. So I took the other lens, that didn't work. Then I took both lenses and I slid them in the same groove which is a trick and maybe not something you should try. And that kind of worked, but it was still kind of gave a funky image because there's lines cut into the backside of the lenses. And uh, it just wasn't perfect. And you know, you have this huge LCD screen in an immersive experience and um, it's slightly blurry, so it's slightly not cool. Well, I was on the internet and I ran across this company, RHO, wrote them a letter, and you know what this sounds like a solution to my problem here's what you get inside these are the detailed instructions on how to get these into the headset which you better follow exactly and I'll tell you why in a minute so your question is Jim what are you talking about what are we looking at here today well we're looking at some German engineering with some really high quality lenses that fit into your goggles and make the head plays perfect for guys like me that need more magnification than the head play lenses can provide. One thing to note right off the bat is that this is two separate pieces. I don't think this is glass. I think it's ground plastic and uh, it's a little dusty. They actually provide a little uh, wipe there, but uh, these are two pieces and they're glued together. So I actually got a few beta versions of this and I did pop these lenses in half. Now, the man that makes these uh, has written back and said, Jim, I have taken your notes and we're using a new glue method. And so what I'm here today is to show you one, that these lens, lenses exist and are awesome, and two, how to get them in your goggles safely. So let's cut and go do that right now. Okay, so I have my goggles apart. As you can see, the lens is out of the channel. Here's your screen. Now let me just say the screen can right here fall out. So you wanna keep this pointed upright. And uh, that's kind of it. I'm gonna check and make sure it's clean. Maybe give it a little light cleaning before I seal it back up. Okay, so the next phase of this, now that you've got your lens out, is you're going to put grass in here. You're gonna put these back together without a lens, but before you tighten it up, you're going to insert these lenses. So now let's talk about the steps. I'm gonna read these to you, just in case you've lost yours. Unscrew the four screws, which we did. And then after you pull your lens out, you want to close the casing with the four screws. Paste the, or place the RH lens over the nose and press it down and rotate forward. Ensure it's tightly clamped between the casing halves or the casing halves. So um, let me just say, you do not want to do that while it's tightened down. You don't want to take it and push it in while it's tightened down because if you do, there's a chance these lenses are going to pop apart. If it's too hard to rotate the lens forward, you can unscrew the four screws a bit. And if it's still too hard, you can lift the upper casing. So what I'm going to tell you is get your casings back together, get your screws at least a little bit in the hole, and then give yourself some wiggle room to put them in there. And then this is important, the lens is designed to be close to your eyes. Start it with the closest possible position. And the last thing I'm going to say, I'm going to do this now physically, but the last thing is when you do install these, you want to install them with your, um, your head play flat like this and put them in like that. Because if you install them like this, if you drop them, they could fall on your LCD screen and that would not be cool. So now we're going to put it back together, put the screws in and then get these lenses in successfully. So I'm going to put this in from the top so my LCD screen doesn't slide out of position. And just slide it back on. Oh, and don't lose your screws. I am the king at losing my screws. Everything I have lives on a magnetic strip, all my tools. 
so that I can have a better grip. Ay, ay, ay. A better grip like this on things. But uh, I'm sure we've all done it where we've lost a screw and spent the next hour looking for it. Could have finished the whole project by then, you know. So this corner looks nice and secure. I'm going to get it in here. Everything's lined up. So that, I think that's loosely in. And then this corner. All right, we're good there. Two more corners. And you may have to hold the plastic in the right place for it to line up. You'll feel it when it grabs though. And our last screw. Then we're gonna try the hardest part of all. We're going to delicately put the lens in. Okay. So now it's loose, it's on, but it's not too tight. Do not drop your lens. Try not to get your fingerprints on your lens. So let's look at our graphic one more time. So we're gonna go graphic one down and the uh, bulgy part of the lens is facing the screen, of course. So tricky. Okay, grasping it from the outside. As close to us as we can get it. But you want to not have it so close that it's on your nose. The, the lens is grabbing your nose. So I'm going to bring it out a little farther and go in. I'm going to leave it right there. I'm going to zoom in on that. I don't know if you can see it. It's not tightened up, but I'm going to bring it in so you can look at it. There we go. So now I'm gonna tighten all four corners up, being careful to hold everything together as I flip it over. I'm gonna start with the out, or the, uh, the screws where the lenses are living first. I'm gonna go to, I guess, an outside edge. Now I will say, once again, I was beta testing some of these and I did have these out in the field, and uh, I never had them fall out after I got them in. So that was one of my fears is that I'd be out there and I'd pick my goggles up and my lenses would fall out, but it never happened. So that's my report, and I have flown multiple times with these lenses. I've also put them in incorrectly, and I think that's where the breakage occurred on one set. If you do snap these lenses in half, so before I go there, let's take a look. We're all in. Let's do the shake test. Oh. Nothing coming out. Nice and tight. It's all in there. They're tight. They're not going to fall out. And then I've got them around close to my nose. So putting them on. They're not touching my nose in any way. Very awesome. Who do snap these in half? which once again, this is two pieces, it's not one, so it's possible that this could happen. I snapped this pair in half. I used medium CA. Now, medium CA seems like a terrible thing to use because it could smoke the, uh, the lens itself, but I didn't kick it, I didn't do anything. I just took a toothpick and very lightly got some medium CA, put these guys together, and then I, I think what I did is I held them on the table and held them together, and it is held up, and I've been in the field with these more than a few times. So if you do break them, medium CA will work. I'm sure there's other methods. This is the method that stayed together for me. But with that said, the maker at RHO told me that they're using a new glue and a new method, and he feels pretty secure about this one. I will say that even if I snap those in half, which I did on the, on the last set, once I got them back together, they were worth it anyway because they made my uh, view so crisp and clean. I will throw a photo in here to kind of show you a, uh, the difference between before and after. It's also in the review on rcgroups.com. 
So uh, there'll be a link in the notes of this video. You can click on and see everything. Installation, link to where to buy, the cost, and all that. So there they are, nice and installed. I hope this helps. I really like them. They really work for me. I'm Jim T. Graham, and you've been watching RC Groups. BAM.com